Hi, I'm Gary Kimball with Garage Gurus. Today's tech tip, we're going to talk about pressure testing cooling systems. So say you've got a car that comes in the shop. It's lost some coolant. It doesn't have a dramatic leak that's just jumping out on the ground. In fact, it doesn't, you can't find any drips on it. It's, you've inspected the engine, you've done your visual inspection, you've got a good light, and you can't figure out where the coolant's going. The next thing you'd want to do is pressure test the system, right? So you get your cooling system pressure tester and you hook it up to the radiator cap, whether it's on the reservoir, or on the radiator, wherever it is, and you pump the system up and you look for the leak, right? That's the basics, right? There are, of course, companies that make dyes to go in cooling systems. So that's one more step we could take to make that leak easier to find. It's a fluorescent dye. We'd use a black light to try to find that leak at that point. That's really for really small leaks. But just pressure testing the system, let's just kind of walk through it. You know, we're going to pressure test this system, so I'd want to get in here, take off my radiator cap. And when I get that off, I want to take a second and look at it. First off, I want to inspect the seals on it to make sure it's sealing properly. Secondly, they're usually labeled. This one says it's an 18-pound cap. So what that tells me is I don't want to pressure test this system over 18 PSI. Usually, I usually pressure test them 14, 15 PSI, but I would never want to exceed the 18 on this one. So from here, we can just uh, put our tester on here, seat it good on the reservoir, and then start to pump up my system. And what I'm doing, I'm pumping it up to that 14, 15 PSI, and I'm listening for any leaks while I'm starting here. And I also want to make sure I don't get too much pressure on this hose, because what can happen if I get too much pressure on it? You can hear it relieves the pressure at the cap. So we get that thing up to 15 PSI. We can let it sit there, watch it for a while, walk away, come back. We want to see it retain that pressure. If the pressure bleeds off, we need to figure out where it's going. We inspect externally on the engine for drips, for wet spots, wherever it is. If we don't find an external leak, then it's time to start thinking, okay, what internally might be leaking, right? We may need to check the oil to see if it's milky from having coolant mixed with it. We may need to do a block test to see if we've got maybe a blown head gasket or a cracked head. We'd go on further with those tests at this point if we didn't find a drip. Hopefully that helps you understand better how to pressure test the cooling system and what we're looking for. If you liked what you saw in this video, smash that like button, subscribe to our channel, look for more content on garagegurus.tech. I'm Gary Kimball with Garage Gurus. Thanks for joining us.